Now, the Secretary General of South Africa's ruling ANC party was charged with 21 counts of fraud and corruption last week. Ace Magashule is out on bail awaiting trial that is set to begin in February. He's just one of high-ranking members, but far from the only one, of the ANC to face corruption charges. Former President Jacob Zuma was ousted by party members for the same. Well, we can speak now to Professor in Political Science at the University of South Africa, Mr. Dirk Kotze, to get a wider perspective on the situation there. Mr. Kotze, thanks so much for your time. Firstly, can I ask you your reaction to the charges filed against Magashule? Judging from the scenes we've seen, it looks like people are divided, but he has a lot of support still in the country. Well, it comes a very long way. Uh, there was actually a book written by a journalist, an uh, investigative journalist, that focused specifically on his history. And it deals with the time when he was the premier um, in the, the one province, the central province called the Free State, um, when these things happened that he is now accused of. Um, he was the main opponent, or is the main opponent, of President Ramaphosa. He, in a sense, still is now leading the, the faction within the ANC which opposed him uh, three years ago when President Ramaphosa was elected as the ANC's president. So it's not only about being the Secretary General of the ANC um, or, and, and being a, a very senior person, therefore, but also the fact that he's actually seen as the, the, main, the leading opponent of President Ramaphosa. Um, this is, uh, is, is therefore not coming as, as something relatively new. But, but I think what is also important is that we all are experiencing a decline in support for him. Though there were some people at, at the trial of, on Friday, it is, comparatively speaking, a very small portion of his former supporters. The, he was much more popular in the past. Can you give me a brief idea of what exactly he's accused of? It is corruption, but I believe it's notably siphoning off money that was uh, given to houses in that free state to clean them of asbestos. Did he pocket that directly? You know, what exactly are the charges against him? And why hasn't he resigned? Is there not enough pressure for him to do that? Well, the, the different, there are many different uh, in, uh, projects he was involved in as the premier, therefore the, almost like the provincial prime minister. Um, one of it that is now very much the, the focus of these charges are that um, many of the old houses still have asbestos roofs. Um, and there was a project to try to do an audit of all these houses um, in the province and then to replace these houses. Uh, and these roofs. Um, that costed in the end about 220 million rand, but it was budgeted for more than 200 million rand. So that is one of the, another one is where there's a dairy farm in, in, uh, in the Free State province that was developed as a provincial project uh, and for upcoming black farmers. But in the end, almost nothing happened with the, those um, projects, um, but the money was, was still paid out. Um, there's also projects which involved his daughter. She's involved in the private sector um, as a business person, and many of the contracts were actually given to her, but most of those projects were never completed. Some of them about the building of houses by the provincial government, which were not. So there are, there are several, but this, the charges for this uh, that we was uh, presented on Friday is specifically for the asbestos project. The other projects were at a later stage, Mm. Um, come to the fore for to being prosecuted on. So, so we could w see more things come to light. But this, you were saying there that Ace Magashule is seen as the main competitor to Cyril Ramaphosa, the current man in power. It sounds very much like that ruling ANC party is completely split down the minute, the middle. I mean, how does it function? Well, it was split in 2017 when uh, President Ramaphosa was elected and Aysma Gashule was elected as, as the Secretary General. In the meantime, that has changed. Uh, President Ramaphosa has now consolidated his power much more in the ANC. One of the parameters to determine the power relationship within the ANC is its National Executive Committee, and it meet, meets quite often. Um, and what we've seen now lately in the last number of meetings of the National Executive Committee is every time they could take decisions in favor of President Ramaphosa. In the past, very often there were discussions, but they didn't come to the point of a decision that, that was taken. 
Now, for example, they've taken a number of decisions about corruption and how to deal with corruption and corrupted persons. For example, they decided that there must be an internal audit must be done about all persons in the ANC who are accused of corruption or charged of corruption. They also decided that there a lifestyle audit must be done on, on all the ministers, the cabinet ministers. And then those persons who are charged in court must step aside. They must leave their positions in government or in the ANC. Now, for the Magashule side, this is devastating news. Together with that, today, President Rama, uh, former President Zuma appears before the Zondo Commission, which is a commission of inquiry appointed by the president in order to deal with all these matters. So that is another major setback because President Zuma tries to avoid not to appear before this commission with all sorts of tactics. Mr. Adir Kagote, thanks so much for joining us on France 24 and bringing us your insight and clarity on that situation there. Much appreciated. You're watching live.